Hi, everybody. Hope you're doing well today on this Wednesday, last day of March. Um, I wasn't really necessarily planning on doing a video this week, or at least on this product, but um, since I've gotten the vaccination for COVID, I've been venturing into CVS and different stores in the area a lot more, and CVS in particular has a lot of really good deals with their extra care rewards. So I was able to combine a whole bunch of different deals to get these for an extremely cheap price. Essentially, they had 40% off any single item, a couple dollars off on extra care rewards. They had CVS Health products with like 2 or $3 off, and then they also had um, a $3 off $12 worth of diapers. So really, at the end of the day, like this ended up being like $6 for all of this. It was an extremely cheap run by combining all those coupons. Um, and so... I didn't realize that their diapers were considered the CVS health brand, but they are. So that was able to give me even yet another discount. Um, so I thought I would do a little quick review on the nighttime underpants. These are a large, extra large. It comes uh, with 12 in a bag and they are unisex for both boys and girls. And this is more kind of comparable to the older good nights where it is a large, extra large 60 to 125 pounds. You see here on the front, a couple of the, different features of this product is that it has a breathable outer core, soft stretchable sides, which we'll get into a little bit. Uh, it's reinforced with some aloe and vitamin E, and then also the quilted core technology to channel away wetness. Um, yeah, one thing I would say about these, as you'll see, is they're not necessarily 100% like the Good Nights. They have a little bit of a different stretch to them, which is reminding me more of like the Under Jams or like a different um, Pampers style product. So that's something that's interesting to get into. And then also I will show you the designs and I'll do a little comparison to the older Good Nights and then also the newer XL that came out at the beginning of this month. And we'll go through all of that real quickly. Just thought it'd be a kind of a fun video uh, for the middle of the week here. And we'll get into that right away. I think the only other thing I want to add is that uh, really appreciate all your support and all the subs and uh, and comments and likes and things like that. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want to see more content, more unboxings, more unbaggings, more reviews, just go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I would love to hit 500. That would be amazing. And yeah, so we'll get into the CVS Health Nighttime Underpants in just a second. So one of the things you see right away is that as a store brand product, it doesn't necessarily have a huge range of designs. This is the only design in the pack, um, and it's a unisex design. It's very uh, generic, but it um, it is obviously an all-over print. You have here on the back, it has the tag that indicates that it's uh, the, the LXL. And then you have kind of the, the white sides there. Um, obviously, a little bit more of a budget product compared to a Good Nights or an Under Jams or a Ninjamas or whatever product would be put out by the, the brand name labels. But um, I think really the look and feel of these is kind of the same to like the, the older Good Nights. Um, and the rise is kind of just as tall. So those are neat. I think one thing that these have which again, it's going to be a little bit hard to show in the video, but um, the sides here are a lot stretchier than a good night's uh, and they stretch in a fashion that to me was similar to like the Pampers under gyms where when it reaches a certain level of stretch, it kind of starts coming undone. So that's kind of a good and a bad thing, but um, it does stretch a lot more like it won't rip. It will, it will go with the stretch but it's going to eventually thin out and rip, but it's not, but it's going to be, you know, a lot thinner and stretched out for lack of a better term before it actually does rip. So I think that has good and bad to it. Uh, it will stretch to fit more, but then also it's, uh, once it gets into that stretched out mode, it's going to be a lot more easy to, to rip. But again, it's not ripping before you can even put it on. So that's a good thing. Um, yeah, I'll do a little quick comparison to the, LXL Good Nights from like 2020 and then also the XL that just came out so you can kind of see the the size difference. So I think one thing you kind of see right away is that the older LXL um, Good Night from 2020, 2019 era 
is actually a little bit smaller than the CVS brand. It's a little bit taller, um, a little bit thinner, actually. Um, but yeah, you see, like, without getting into super specific measurements and things like that, like I've mentioned in the past, but it's, it is a, a little bit bigger um, and a different kind of stretch. I think it's a little bit more of a... Um, more give to the stretch on the on the CVS brand. Obviously, the new gold standard good night here from 2021 is bigger, but not by a whole lot. You know, uh, obviously, I think the the newer XL good night is kind of wider, stretchier, you know, taller. Everything about it is the biggest that you're going to get. But I think for a cheap, you know, two uh, two for twelve dollars before the coupons and then after the coupons getting it down to really like three dollars for a bag of 12 i think these are kind of a cool option i think they're you know they got a cute design to them uh they're absorbent um kind of absorbs in the way where you'd expect a baby diaper to um maybe like a walmart brand baby diaper it has that same kind of absorbent to it um so it really keeps you dry it doesn't uh bunch up at all it's very like smooth in terms of that when it's wet and then it has you know um a little bit of a taller rise stretchy side so i say if you see these and you're interested in that kind of product and you can give it a go with some coupons like i did or um you know you're in a pinch at a cvs i think they're a good option for bedwetters and and you know people that might be needing um this type of product so i would say overall i'm a fan of these i think for a good budget option this is probably the way you'd want to turn and uh yeah so just a little quick video today but i'll be back uh probably later this week i got um some vintage pull-ups that i'm going to open and then also potentially i've said this in the past but i'm going to try to do 360 fit cruisers um before too long here i need to potentially make some space some space um before i do that but that's another option so Thank you again for watching and subscribing. Hope you enjoyed this little bonus video of the CVS Health nighttime underpants. And uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And happy April.